Welcome back sa ating channel. Naging mainit nga na bakbakan sa loob ng Senado dahil di umano hindi nga nakapagpigil si Senador Rafi Tulfo at ginisanga ang chat. Digdig pa nga ng maraming netizen, hindi ka panipaniwala ang mga pinagsasasabi mo. Halata kang nagpapalasot, pinapalayo mo ang usapan. Dapat alam ang yaman niyan, mukhang puro kulap lang ang alam niyan. Mas maganda kung gumawa ng batas sa Kongreso at Senado para sa bitay sa mga korap na politiko at kawani ng gobyerno para magwakas na katiwalian sa gobyerno. Diyos ko, ang kawawang bayan ko, halos lahat ng may mga posisyon sa gobyerno, may mga taong tiwali. Hindi ba nagsosweldo ng tama ang mga empleyado? Sa private sector, hindi sila pwedeng tiwali bakit sa gobyerno nagagawa nila. Basta magaling mangurakot, magaling din magpaliwanag, salain yung mabuti para may kabuluhan ang investigasyon, samantalang ang iba, puro kahirapan ang inabot. Dapat nga may pasaang death penalty para matakot na lahat ng mga korap sa lahat ng agency ng gobyerno. Senador Sir Rafi Tulfo sana gumawa ka na ng batas tungkol sa death penalty sa mga tiwaling opisyal, mag-private man o public official at mga kriminal na paulit-ulit ng nakukulong. Sana sampulan na ito unahin si Rimuela, DOJ at si General Katapang tapos yung anak ni Rimuela. Pasensya kayo, mga ahensyang nababahiran ng katiwalian, talagang makakatikim kayo ng mga kakaibang salita kay Senator Tulfo para magiging kayo panahon na malinis na lahat ng ahensya na nababahiran ng korupsyon. Wal para nga sa karagdagang impormasyon, panoorin nga natin ang buong detalye. At kung bago ka ba naman sa akin channel, huwag kalimutan i-click ang subscribe button at notification bell para lagi kang updated sa ating mga bagong video. At para sa sulit viewers natin dyan, maraming maraming salamat sa walang sawang pag-suporta. Hindi naman siguro sila magsasabi, hindi naman siguro mga pulpo ng mga tagalim na mag, basta basta na mag-submit ng proposal na hindi nila ginajustify. So every single items there or every single words na inilagay nila doon, pinag-aralan na nila yun and they have studied it carefully. And then pagdating po sa CHED, ipapasa po sa... DBM and then you guys will act as God and then just slash the budget yung kanila pinaghirapan na para isubmit yung proposal sa inyo and without even telling them the decency and courtesy of informing them na hey inislas namin to because A ito yon B ito yon si wala man na wala man ng kurtisya kumbaga para bastusan po yan po yung humble opinion ko lang ano po Uh, yung itatama lang po namin, sabi ko nga po, wala po kaming dahilan para basta-basta basto siya ng chat na gano'n. Uh, lubalabas na pambabastos, hindi po namin ginagawa yun. But, 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 sir, but I said that it's, only, it's not only chat. Ginagawa rin po yun sa mga iba't ibang agency. Yung sa akin naman po, sana from now on, Mr. Chair, magkakaroon ng practice na kapag nag-islas ng budget sa isang agency, not only left, dapat man lang uh, the, the agency that slashed the budget should have the courtesy and decency to inform the agency na pinutulan ng budget na malaman nila kung ba bakit pinutulan para next time alam na nila kung nagsamit sila ng budget for the next year alam na nila na ito pala hindi pwede ito pala hindi amendable doon sa sasamit ka namin ng proposal namin they know how to submit it they know how to praise their uh, uh, um, tawag nito uh, when, when they defend the budget uh, kami ako kapin po ay support, sumusuporta sa ganun paano kala dahil kami rin po sa chair ay talagang uh, kinaltasan din po ng pondo lalo hmm. uh, ngayong taon. Uh, yung uh, sinasabi kong isang paraan po, pakita talaga uh, ano ba yung posible na magawa. Kasi pwedeng mangingin ang budget pero yung kailangan mapakita yung comparison sa kapag... Sabi nagsisisi na ako kung ba't kita nirecognize sa... Pero, hindi, bibilis ako na sir. No, we're Tumaya. talking about LEB. Yes, Mr. You're Chair. You're trying to answer a topic and a, and a subject matter that was settled earlier already. Ah, yes. And it's uh, not doing any continue, good, quite frankly. Uh, just to continue with the uh, points to raise, on that, hindi po kami, hindi po namin sila inipit. Pangalawa po, uh, may, uh, there is a provision in this bill that allows the LEB control over setting up the minimum standards for 
feeder programs to the to legal to the basic legal education program. Unfortunately, the, this allied programs are not defined. Uh, does this uh, right now we don't really have specific pre-law programs that feed into law. Anyone can take up any uh, undergraduate program, and they can use that, and that would qualify them to be law students or to be admitted to the law pro law program. Does that mean is the intention now? No, no, no. There are certain requirements, certain units in Spanish, social sciences. Um, it's not true that there is no requirement. Oh well, there, there, which can be cured by by remedial taking up remedial subjects. But as 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 a rule, anyone can take whatever program undergraduate program, and they can still proceed into the law, and that would still be a feeder program into law. For example, right now, our uh, dean of the college of the UP College of Law is a graduate of molecular biology and biotechnology, and he entered into law. What we want to be clarified here is that we have. To be clear that the LEB covers only the legal, uh, basic legal education programs. They want even the postgraduate legal education program, but the words right now as it is written here would allow them control over feeder programs, which could be interpreted as what any other. What are you referring to? Uh, it's section 9 amending section 7. Mr. Chair, uh, Mr. Spooky just spoke me. <laughs> yes, sir. Ang pinag-usapan lang kanina, kaya ka in-recognize ni Mr. Chairman ay magpapaliwanag ka tungkol dun sa budget na nag-slash kayo at hindi kayo nang babastos. Ngayon, pinahaba mo na, pinaikot-ikot mo. Uh, uh, the good chairperson asked me on the points to be raised by Chad, Mr. Okay. Chair. With quickly. What letter? Uh, letter E, Mr. Chair. Nine. I don't see any problem. Minimum standards for ad, for law admission to basic law program. And the Allied Legal Studies program. Yes, what sir. What does Allied Legal Studies program mean? Uh, this would be in Section 4, uh, Your Honor. In the proposed Section 4. What let... Uh, Are you Section 9... Uh, section 9 of the bill, which amends Section 7 of Republic Act 7662, letter E. I'm asking LEB, the what definition. does allied? That is in Section 4A. Section Your 4A Honor. of the bill? Apo, of the proposed bill. No, oh, this is not the pre-law course. This is for paralegals. Yeah, that's it. That's the definition of all ideas. Yeah. In so far as the course is concerned, it's in it's in it's in line with the requirements of the Supreme Court, including what I mentioned earlier, Spanish. Twelve units of Spanish. Ang galing pa naman, di ba? Wala na po. Inalis na po. Hindi na po. Tinanggal na po. Inalis lang po, Mr. Chair. No, yes, Spaki. Look at Section 4. It basically defines what allied legal programs are, allied legal studies programs are. Well, the uh, in the latter part of the paragraph of the item, Mr. Chair, the program may also include the preparatory law program that may qualify the entry of students in a basic law program in conformity with admission to the legal studies requirements. It also classifies... Uh, are you still talking program. of paragraph E? Uh, it's now 4A, the definition. Uh, under section 4, 4A, allied legal studies program are academic programs intended to provide paralegals and other professionals with legal knowledge and skills that would meet the expanding needs of the public and private sectors outside the practice of law. Does, that, does this now include cor uh, courses like business law, yes. which, is, which are offered under business administration? Your programs. Honor. Or in yes. public ad, we have administrative law in public administration programs. That's a course. That's a subject, not a course. Your Honor, but they, if I they may form part of the program. These are yes, courses. But, yes. but that's, a, that's a subject that's part of a course. That's so, not a course you graduate from. But does that mean that the LB would have a say in those particular courses, Mr. Chair? Uh, no. I mean, Spocky, you're confusing subject and course. A course you graduate from and obtain a diploma program. for. A subject... It's a subject that's, that's part of a course. Your Honor. Attorney Abad? Yes. Um, 
This is also one point of contention by the Philippine Association of Colleges and Universities. There are at least 27 schools offering legal management as undergraduate courses. Does this mean that the Legal Education Board will likewise have jurisdiction over these uh, programs, Your Honor? Also, with political science courses with major in paralegal studies or local government administration, Will that be under the CHED or be under the Legal Education Board? That is what we want to clarify because there will be duplication sure, now Villanelle. of jurisdiction. Sure, sure, sure. Yes, sorry. Yes. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, um, the legal management is under the business school. Uh, that's a business course. It's not a law course. So that's definitely not going to be under the jurisdiction of the LEB. Same with the other courses mentioned. If, uh, what was the other course? Policy, Policy that's under the... Uh, Social the Sciences board, Department board. of uh, the institution. <laughs> so that's definitely not going to be under the jurisdiction of the LEB. Anything that uh, the purpose of RA 7662 is really to remove legal education uh, in all its aspects from the coverage of the Higher Education Act, Your Honor. Attorney Bud, kindly suggest wording that will clarify the matter since um, Chair Trinidad is in accord with um, yes, sir, your Honor. interpretation anyway, that is not part of it. Yes, Your Honor. Can you will help to us suggested or proposed wording in so far section 4a is some um, concern yes your honor um if your honor section 9e your honor if i may also yes ma'am the um representatives of the philippine association of law schools would also like to comment darling kung alam mo yun sabihin mo na lang sir hindi kasi sayang yeah, nandito na sila eh <laughs> si dean sol mawis po no, nandito so sir the council of both no, no, Your Honor, I'm not the Council of Cocopea. I'm neither the Council of the Philippine Association of Law Schools. The proper representative is in the, um, in the virtual. Uh, Paco, Philippine Association of Colleges and Universities. I, uh, I told Ma'am Charlene earlier about it. Dean. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, Senator. Dean Sol. Yes, yes ma'am, kindly. What are your yes, comments sir, that Honor. haven't been touched upon? Yes, sir. Uh, good morning, Your Honor, Senator Escudero, Senator Tulfo. Uh, I am representing the Philippine Association of Law Schools. I'm Dean Solidad de Riquito Mawis. Uh, Your Honor, in fine, the Board of Trustees of the Philippine Association of Law Schools supports the amendments insofar as the administrative and fiscal independence of the LEB is concerned. We, however, have reservation on certain provisions as they appear to diminish the educational institution's right to academic freedom. We would like to implore this August body to kindly uphold the statement made by the Supreme Court in the case of Pimentel Education. Uh, ma'am, education ma'am, ma'am, sorry, Dean Sol, what yes, provisions sir. are you referring to? I am referring no, no. to your honor. Go directly. Section 2, the Declaration of Policies, we would like to suggest that the provision on academic freedom be included as a declared policy, even if it's already stated in the Constitution. But it will give us comfort, Your Honor, if in the Declaration of Policies, academic freedom is truly recognized. Now, Nasa the Constitution din naman, kakopyahin lang din, okay lang yan. Oh. What other provisions um, are you referring to? I am also referring to Section 4A, the definition of allied legal studies programs. We joined the observations made by Dean Abad and also the representative of CHED. We really do not know what will happen to pre law As discussed, ma'am, we will reward it accordingly to um, expressly show the intent of LEB, which is really not to cover courses that are not, um, that do not pertain Thank to... You, um, Taking up of law. Thank you, Your Honor. Then we proceed, Your Honor, to Section 4B, which is the nomenclature basic law program, because the law program is not, with all due respect, I think it's not basic. It's a law program. It's what is basic is the pre law, but the law program is a higher degree compared to the pro program. So it's a matter of words only, Your Honor. And then finally, Your Honor, consistent with our position that, the, that there's a need to uphold academic freedom. We request a uh, review, Your Honor, if possible, of Section 9A, subparagraphs A, C, E, F, J, K, L, and M, which were discussed earlier, or, Your Honor. May we be allowed, Your Honor, to submit a position paper on the matter to further elucidate our position, Your Honor, to the technical working group. Thank you. Can I ask you to do, uh, to do something more, submit a position paper, and your suggested wording? 
Yes, sir. Can... Honor, we will, it will be our uh, honor, your honor. To Throw it to LEB and um, we can facilitate um, the issuance of a committee report on this. Yes, the sir. End... Thank you, your honor. Mr. Chair. Oh, miss. Ma'am, may I ask you, sorry, hindi ko hindi nagu practice eh. Yung pag-peg ng fine sa CPI, published by PSA, matagal ko ng pangarap to eh, insofar as the penalties provided for in the revised penal code is concerned, but I was told that this would be violating the right of an accused to be informed of the nature and cause of the accusation against him and the crime he is being accused of. Kung hindi niya alam yung fine na impose dahil nag-adjust na pala, although this is administrative in nature. Is this legal? Your Honor, we are going to publish and announce uh, uh, these reasonable fines that we are going to impose or that we are bound to impose. How often? Yearly? Uh, well, at least once, Your Honor, once every school year, we remind them of the, we have a list of reminders for our stakeholders. So they are duly aware of any changes in our policies. No, the point I'm driving at is if you use CPI, then it's not 100,000 as a maximum anymore. But it changes. If inflation I, I, is at 6% or 8% per annum, then this will increase at the rate of 8,000 per year. Again, yeah, but. It might be violating the right of an accused to be informed of the nature and cause of the accusation against him because he doesn't know the maximum fines you can impose given that it's pegged before or pegged at CPI. Um, Mr. Chair, the last sentence here states, as published by the Philippine Statistical Authority, I think all lawyers know that, you know, their ignorance of the law will not excuse them, especially if it's published already, Mr. Chair. True, in so far as the CPI is concerned, but you're pegging the penalties you can impose on CPI, which is a moving target. And this is the first time, quite frankly, if Adolat I see a bill that I would have wanted yes. this again, huh? in so far as the revised penal code fines are concerned. I've been wanting this for quite some time, but I was told in the hearings we conducted on it that it cannot be done. So we have to amend it every so often in order to update the fines provided for in the revised penal code. Um, thank you, Mr. Chair. In that case, we are willing to withdraw the pro provided portion of paragraph M. We could stop at uh, yes. pursuant to this act. Dean thank Sol, please take note and um, include that in your submissions. Thank you, Your Honor. Yes, sir. Um, Thank Mr. you Chair. very much, ma'am. Last point yes, on Section 5. Um, it's a clarification. This is more on a policy of the Senate. So this is a decision of the Senate. But the implication is that the Bagsamoro Organic Law would be amended, uh, considering that the proposal is to cover all law schools, even those in the Bagsamoro area. Uh, Mr. Chair. I'm sorry, Mr. Chair. On the, and that, yes. Sorry, 7662 says that the LAB shall have jurisdiction over law schools, over all law schools, and it doesn't state any territory in that regard. So that should include the Bangsamoro uh, region, Mr. Chair. Uh, um, Mr. Chair, if I may, uh, the, the Bangsamoro organic law is a fairly recent law, and it actually already amended uh, the all other laws related to uh, all previous laws uh, passed before it. And right now, we do have a Ministry of Education in the Bangsamoro, which has uh, jurisdiction over all educational institutions in the region. So, but this, as I mentioned, this is within the powers of the Senate. So it's really a matter of policy. Uh, do, you have a, do you have a regional director for um, the Bangsamoro? Uh, none, Mr. Chair. We don't have a chaired regional office for the Bangsamoro. But there is a deputy director there. Uh, it's there only is the a head ball. WH director there. Uh, we... There is a WH district engineer there. As far as I, as Chad is concerned, we don't have a uh, district, uh, or we don't have a regional director for the Bangsaboro. Under the Bangsaboro law, um, all of these are under the jurisdiction now of the Ministry of Education. What we do have is an office called the head ball, the higher education in the context of the Bangsaboro organic law, Mr. Chair which are direct 
uh, which is an additional task to one of the directors of uh, CHED, but we don't have a regional office in the Bangsamoro area. So what does that office do? Actually, right now it's, it's already defunct. Uh, it, uh, its term expired last December 2022, sir. It just expired. But uh, previously it was to provide technical assistance to uh, the Ministry of Education when, on matters relate, uh, re relevant to higher education in the Bangsamoro. More of a transition office. Wal mga kababayan, dito nga nagtatapos ang ating talakayan. Makikita nga natin kung gaano nga katapa si Senador Rafi Tulfo dahil kahit mga korap na opisyales ng gobyerno ay tila binabanatan ito. Wal well, ipakita nga natin ang ating suporta kay Senador Rafi Tulfo sa pagkomento sa ating comment section ang inyong mga opinion at ating pag-uusapan.